Welcome back. You may not know this, but I love pickleball. Yes, I'm one of the people that have jumped in. I'm 110% in. I'm neck deep. I'm always looking to get my next fix on a pickleball session. I used to love tennis. I played badminton a little bit when I was younger in my teens. Um, I've always loved a lot of sports, but skateboarding was my thing, and I still skate a little bit, but pickleball, now that my knees and ankles can handle it, um, has really taken my focus uh, in the leisure activities sort of scene. But I, I just love it, and the crew that I get to play with up here in uh, Kirkland, Washington is rad. But anyway, that, mid, that led me to sort of looking around on sort of social media and finding out about different uh, pickleball people that are really good, and so sort of watching them, I, I don't really watch it um, like uh, games, but I just sort of follow along on people's social medias. And as you know from my previous video, I have been um, going along and finding screenshots or videos of people's um, stuff that I like and then get inspired by. And come on, like Tyson McGuffin is one of those people who's known as the most electrifying uh, person in pickleball. I don't know why. I just uh, figured that was a fun sort of concept to go along with. And I decided to draw his. He doesn't have as big mustache as what I'm drawing right now. So I decided to amplify that just for the fun of it. <laughs> like a good mustache because of November is pretty fun. Here we are drawing it. I'm using Procreate and my iPad. And I'm just sort of cranking along, adding colors and sort of trying to make a match and make it sort of fun. The story that I've sort of tried to play off in this, that like he's electrifying and then the paddle's so angry at the ball that it wants to hit the ball, but the ball is the is the trickster in it. He's like going, like you can't get me. You're not gonna be able to win this. Like they're not working together because the ball's coming back and gonna be working against you. That was my thought in the head. And the paddle's just like an extension of MacGuffin and he's just like, all right. Here we go. So with the paddle being an extension of his hand, it's like they are working against their opponents over there, but this ball is this in-between and doesn't care who wins. It just is like, you're not going to beat me. Like, you can't beat the ball. You can only beat the opponent, and you're the opponent as well. That's sort of the concept. Anyway, so I'm adding a bit of low lights, highlights here. A um, little drawing. I think I've got like some stuff a little bit reversed, but it's fun to see the... The process of, uh, as you can see, uh, my grip is terrible. So however you hold a pencil or pen is up to you. But if you, uh, well, like I hold it with like three fingers on and one finger off sometimes. Like, it, and I sometimes, I used to do it a lot more, but I'd squeeze the pen so hard and hurt my fingers. Now I'm a lot softer. But it's fun to see the, the use of the iPad. Um, I think I'll do a lot more filming like this just because I I always wish I could see people's actual like drawing habits and styles. Like I use a lot of layers in mine and use the shadowing and highlighting and stuff like that in this style of drawing, both in Photoshop and Procreate. So yeah, I think I'll do that. If you have any questions or anything like that, reach out, hit me up. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you ever want to play pickleball, hit me up. Let's get it. Cheers, subscribe. If you wanna, if you don't, cool. It'd be red. <laughs>